Morning. Today is Tuesday, October the 7th, 2012, and I'm going to talk a little bit about how I have my YouTube channel arranged. Um, several people have asked me how I uh, changed my YouTube channel to be in the specific format that it's in right now. Uh, so I'm going to run through that right quick. Um, so first off, I'm, um, I've just logged in and I clicked on my channel. So we're at my channel right now, and you notice that um, the first thing you see is a featured video. Right now I've got um, uh, Bob Stevens' uh, Conscious Language and Curriculum, uh, the uh, interview I did with Bob uh, a few days ago. And then underneath that, uh, there are a series of uh, playlists. And there's a conscious language playlist, uh, thought leaders, uh, thought leader interviews, radical health, platform wizardry, which is all sorts of uh, marketing and meetup uh, construction or design videos, deep technology, which are um, uh, very um, technological related, like how to swap out uh, MySQL with uh, or Maria DB for MySQL on your back-end PHP site and also there's a video about uh, a bug in Camtasia that I've been requesting they fix uh, and then there's a couple of older there's a 2009 uh, dinner with you Maya and David that uh, uh, has uh, several videos and then there's the original video series that kicked all this off or playlist uh, which is the old uh, 2007 um, uh, first time I pulled out a video camera and uh, filmed some folks in our our place. And then la the last playlist is all uploaded videos. Uh, so uh, let's see what this view all here is too. Oh, okay, so if you click on view all, it gives you just a different uh, view of the um, the um, playlists here. So, um, so let's walk through this. A uh, couple of things. First off, let's go to the. I clicked on my um, channel there and popped out these uh, options here. First off, let's go to settings. Uh, um, don't try to uh, email this uh, because I'm going to hit this click here uh, after this video so that it's um, it changes uh, and. You'll notice here's my, my picture, so you, I can change my picture there, advanced, I'm unsure what's there. Anyway, it tells my account status. I'm in good standing for everything. Now, here's probably the important one. Allow advertisements to be displayed alongside my videos or do not allow. Um, so, um, I've got do not allow uh, because you'll notice if you read this uh, information right down here. Uh, ads will only be displayed for videos where you own all the rights, which I do, and uh, choosing this option will disable any monetization options that have been set for your video. Uh, and also, it, there's no way to know what the ads are that are going to run. Uh, so, you know, you might have, uh, you know, some sort of uh, meditation video and have a a trailer for Hunger Games run or you know some sort of horror movie so I just turn the ads off uh, I recommend you watch some of my other videos and figure out better ways to monetize so um, I'm going to uh, click this link here or I'm going to pause the video click this link to change the the uh, mobile uh, upload link so nobody's uploading videos to my channel and um, uh, then go on to the uh, next uh, piece of information you probably require to know about your YouTube channel all right, so we're back at uh, the front page of uh, my channel right now, and I'm going to go now to channel settings, which um, it's a little curious to me that I guess maybe these are account settings. I don't know. I guess there's a distinction they make anyway. It's a little bit odd to figure your way around this, and this is the channel settings here is how you arrange your um, uh, your uh, uh, layout here and someplace there is um, okay if you click on tabs here uh, this is um, uh, allows you to um, let's see default feature tab yeah so there are a couple things here let's see always take um, subscriber subscribe users to the feed okay I'm not sure what that 
Um, I guess that is going to be, if we look at the feed here, uh, I'm guessing that's the last video uh, updated, which I guess is all right. I'm a little unsure about that. I'd have to actually subscribe and figure out exactly what that meant. But anyway, I'm going to leave that on because it is right now. So the default tab is the Featured tab. It could be Uploads or Feeds. Oh, actually, let's click this to Featured. So this means that everybody's going to go to the Featured tab instead, which is actually what I'd rather have. Um, this checkbox says that um, there's going to be a featured video on your front page. And the overview then is going to be um, uh, Let's see, so if you go down here and look, see the format here has got the, the playlist. You can play around with this. You can pick these and see what it's going to look like. So, for example, this one says, you know, there's seven playlists and here are the first three. Uh, blogger style, this is everything chronological order, which um, is a little bit odd because it's saying that um, it's... First kind of your recent uploads. Oh, okay. So the yeah, just recent uploads. Um, everything, which is uh, this is the one that I specifically like, where it shows the featured video first and then uh, uh, all the um, uh, playlists. So let's get out of this. Uh, there's nothing I really require to change here. And now let's go and take a look at how to uh, edit the playlist. So first off. Uh, here's how you edit the uh, featured video. If you'd like to change this video, this first video here, featured video, you click this edit button. All this is real. I mean, you just have to click around and find this. There's no place I've found that talks about how to do all this. Um, I just started clicking on stuff till I figured it out. So if you click edit here, then you can say um, uh, most recent video and feature set, um, automatically start video when the video channel loads, uh, prevent ads from showing them the videos on this page, yes, remove the featured video player. So let's see, choose a featured video. Let's see, uh, upload videos. Hmm. Oh, uh, search. Um. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. Choose a featured video. Most video, recent video and feature set. Oh, okay. Oh, no, this is interesting. I thought that it was... Um, hmm. Oh, I guess this changed when I changed the format of my channel. So this is, appears to be how it, it works. Is um, so what's going to be set as the featured video is the most recent video in the featured set. So let's see. Uh, so I'm going to flip this off. So basically what this says is that if I've got the uploaded videos selected, then the most recent video in that set, in other words, any video I upload, is going to be featured. If I clicked, for example, on... Um, uh, deep technology. Then the most recent video in the featured set will be the one I uploaded uh, most recently is Avoid Camtasia by ScreenFlow instead. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, I'm going to turn this off. So that means that I can choose any video anywhere. So I could, for example, choose Platform Wizardry and choose uh, Rapid Idea Validation. And then this would be, if I hit uh, wherever the save button here is, uh, if I hit our apply, that would mean that uh, this video would be the featured one. So right now what I'm going to do is go to the conscious language and choose the Bob Stevens uh, conscious language curriculum and overview interview and hit apply and let's just make sure that, that works. Yeah. So it does appear to work. Now, uh, the other uh, final item I'm going to show you is these playlists here. Um, so, for example, if I say uh, the this featured playlist, this is the edit button. So this allows, for example, I could go and move this one up here. Uh, I've, I'm just clicking and dragging, um, or I could, I'll leave this down here where it is. 
uh, and then also uh, if if there uh, if there's a new playlist um, which to add a playlist you have to go well I'm, I'll show you that next I guess I'll wrap up with that anyway uh, if you had a playlist that wasn't featured here you'd have another uh, spot here that um, would show you the playlist that hadn't been um, assigned so let's see if I can get rid of one what happens if I do this and I say apply so I just deleted a playlist all right and so that playlist is gone and if I say edit uh, okay select so now I see select playlist to add so I'm gonna click on this and click on this so now I'm gonna add that so now deep technology is last I'm gonna move that up here to uh, here, do, 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 do. I think that's fine, and hit apply. And so the last thing I'm going to show you is how to create a playlist. And that is, uh, let's see, if you click on your channel uh, selector or whatever the selector box is here, uh, is it video manager, I think? Yeah, so video manager. So if I go here to playlist, no, oh, actually, let's go back um, back one. So in the video manager, you for, you can, for example, uh, go and edit um, any of the, uh, like if you'd like to add an annotation or caption file or something, this is where you do it. Or if you'd like to edit the, if I click edit here, uh, I'm taken to the, I've got the title here, and I can pick thumbnails and put in my tags and, you know, well, all the categories and the advanced settings, which I'd recommend everybody do this, is uh, oh, I have no um, recording date set. Uh, so we'll say the recording date on this one was, when did I upload this? 2012, 9-25. So I will just go to, oops, I'm changing the year. Go to September the 25th of 2012. So now I'm going to save those changes. So, oh, and I'm going to turn disable 3D because there's no. Um, oh, here's a new one. Caption certification. This content has never aired on television in the U.S. Huh. Caption certification. This is something new they've added. Let's see what this says. Content that's aired on U.S. television may be subject to FCC regulations. Providing closed captions. That's interesting. Uh, so it appears that there may be some sort of accessibility standard, which means um, accessibility is the term used for people that may have uh, challenges uh, hearing or seeing. Uh, and it may be in some cases that it's required to have those um, cert that certification done. And if you require that for some reason, you can be in touch with me, and I'll tell you how to get a closed caption file made. Uh, and you know, YouTube actually will automatically uh, generate a closed caption file, uh, uh, and you know, take a stab at um, uh, doing the closed caption transcribing. Um, little other things here. A few other things here is I've got all the commenting turns on. I've got allow video responses. Uh, and I've got it set as approved, so I have to approve them before you know somebody puts up a uh, like a sales page video for a internet marketing info product scam. I'd like to you know see all those before I publish them, and I'll approve or disapprove them. I've got embedding enabled, so in other words, somebody can embed this video on their site. Uh, what else? Uh, the video location. This is where it was uh, filmed. I usually set the location as where I am, which is in Austin. Uh, let's see if I change the thumbnail here. Yeah, it looks like that was. Let's see. I'm going to change the thumbnail so that means that Bob's mouth is open and I'm looking off to the side. And I'm going to change the thumbnail to where we're kind of both looking at the screen here. Save changes. And all changes are saved now. Uh, and if we look here. Probably can see anything necessarily different here. But if you look in YouTube, you'll see a. Uh, you know a different um, uh, video. Oh, that's interesting. They've got a scrubber thumbnail preview now. 
So let's go back to our playlist that we were looking at. Uh, click on our channel video manager. Uh, so we talked about how to edit videos. Now playlists, if you click on the playlist over here, um, if you say create a new playlist, you click on that, then it pops up a little window there that allows you to put in a playlist, playlist description. So if we say uh, foo, uh, then we're going to get a, um, a screen like this. It says add a video, and you click on this, and then you open another window. YouTube, uh, We'll open another window to our channel. This is a little bit cumbersome to do, and maybe there's a better way to do this. I'll be able to figure it out. Video manager. So, if you go to your video your video manager here, then what you can do is uh, let's say we're going to change this to random fun videos, and so uh, we'll uh, we'll take a Bob Stevens video and drop over here and say add it. And we'll take uh, Ray Segern. I said we'll take Ray Segern. Put him over here. And so you know, and and we can uh, we can uh, if you look at the four-way arrow there, we can move those around. Uh, and then we have to say save uh, to save this playlist. So we'll say cancel because I don't want this one. Or this is a it's just a test right now. Uh, Looks like we may have accidentally, let's see if I've created foo. So I'm going to say edit, delete this playlist. Yep, delete it. All right. Uh, and so the playlist will show uh, in a chronological order when these playlists were created. It's not going to be the, uh, oh, view, let's see. Uh, newest created is what it's viewed in now. You can also, if you have a whole bunch of different um, playlists, you might do oldest or you might do A to C, Z through A. You can reverse them, whatever. Uh, so I think that pretty much uh, wraps up on um, uh, how I uh, arrange my, um, or how I uh, change my channel to be uh, uh, laid out in this um, uh, featured video plus uh, playlist uh, format. So hopefully that was uh, useful. And uh, we'll see you soon at a uh, Inside Track Party event or um, uh, drop me an email and tell me what's, uh, what's going on, um, what's up with you. Or better, uh, drop me a, um, a, uh, a YouTube video, uh, a link to a YouTube video that uh, lets me know what you're up to these days.